Hi everyone, this is Andreas, and in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to transfer data from one worksheet to another in Excel automatically. So let's get started. In this workbook called Transfer Data, I have two sheets, Sheet 1 and Sheet 2. Although we are working in Excel 2016, the techniques that I'll show you also work in every Excel version. In Sheet 1, we have two headers. Name and Phone. When a user inserts data, we want, with the help of a button, to transfer the data into another sheet, which is Sheet 2 in our example. Notice that in Sheet 2, I've inserted the same headers, name, and phone. Click on the Developer tab and press the Insert Controls button. Now, from ActiveX Controls, choose the Command button, click and draw it somewhere there. Great! Now right-click and go to Properties. The Properties window appears on your left. Find Caption Property and write Transfer. If you want, you can change the format of the button and the text from these properties. Close the window and double click on the button. The VBA window appears with the command button window and the click event. We will start by defining and writing the appropriate values. The first variable is customer name. So let's type in dim Customer name is a string. Type comma, and then type customer phone as string also. The first step is to select sheet 1. Let's start typing. Worksheets, parenthesis, double quotes, sheet 1, which is the name of our worksheet, close quotes and parenthesis. Type dot, then select, press enter. Now we have to define the range of our data. Return to Excel workbook, and as you can see, the range that we are interested in is A2 to B2. Go back to VBA window and type customer name, equals range, parenthesis, double quotes, and A2. Close the quotes and the parenthesis, enter, and type now. Customer phone equals range B2. After I select the range in sheet 1, I have to go now to sheet 2 to transfer data. Type in worksheets, sheet 2, which is the same name as the second worksheet, dot select. Now that I've selected sheet 2, I need to select the exact cell for customer name. So I type in worksheets, sheet 2, dot range, A1, Dot select. There is a problem that I need to solve now. I want always to find the next blank row and then paste the name and phone so it will not overwrite the previous name and phone. To solve that problem, we need to use a loop with the help of the if statement. Let's get started. If worksheets, sheet 2, dot range a1 dot offset one comma zero is not equal double quotes two times then enter to go to the next line worksheets Sheet 2, 
dot range. A1 dot end XL down dot select Enter and type end if Offset 1.0 means one row below the reference. The if statement checks if the row is not empty. Go to the last cell, and after that go to the next empty cell using active cell statements. So let's type in active cell dot offset one point zero dot select. Enter and type in the next row active cell dot value equals customer name enter we will do exactly the same for the customer phone if you want you can copy and paste two statements and make the appropriate changes great now we have effectively transferred the data from sheet 1 to sheet 2. The final step is to go back to sheet 1 so we can enter the other data. Type Worksheets Sheet 1 Dot Select To clear the data in sheet 1 we will write Worksheets Sheet 1 dot range A2 to B2 dot clear contents Oops, let's fix the errors. Our VBA code is ready and we have to try it to make sure that it works. So return to sheet 1, disable design mode, type a name and phone and press the button. Go to sheet 2 and see that the data copied and pasted correctly. Go back to sheet 1 and type another name and phone. Click the button again and see the results. It works great! I think that we learned a very useful case study of Excel macros that it'll help you a lot. Thanks for watching!